you're really on a roll. What what do you think is attributed to that? Why are you doing so well? Um, well, I mean, I've had a lot of support in the past year from everyone across Canada. All the coaches have helped me and, you know, my province a lot and Gymnastics Canada and everyone's kind of just brought it together and gave me the chances to go out and get those experiences and I think definitely being on the Olympic team and getting that amazing experience has brought me so much more confidence and, you know, kind of just a more leadership role in gymnastics now because I'm one of the older ones so I mean just going to competitions and being a little more confident with what I'm doing and enjoying it a lot. Wow, that's that's incredible. So what does that mean for that next generation of young girls looking up? Um, I, I hope it gets them inspired and I hope that they kind of push themselves to go to that level and see that it is possible and I mean even coming from Nova Scotia, small town, you know like it is possible and it can be done and it just takes a lot of hard work and loving the sport. What's next on the radar? Um, uh, I'm working towards the FISU Games, the okay. University Games, so that's in Russia and uh, that, so that should be good and that's exciting. It's another kind of Olympic-like setup. So um, Dave said that was an amazing game for him, so that's next and then uh, hopefully a competition in August and then leading up to Worlds. Obviously not making a full team to London in 2012 was a disappointment, but you've been a part of the scene for a long time. So what's the feeling amongst the team right now, and what are you guys getting excited about? Yeah, it was a bummer. Um, definitely not qualify a full team, uh, for sure. But I mean, um, it was a big wake-up call for us as well. We have to step up our game. We have to be at the level of the other countries. Um, other countries are throwing huge tricks. And so it was definitely a wake-up call for us. We have to throw those bigger tricks and perform them well and just start training you know, with that mindset. So um, yes, it was a bummer, but I think it was good for everyone. Everyone's working harder. They're working on more difficult skills. And I think we are definitely moving forward in the right direction. Um, everyone is kind of specializing, working on their good events. You know, trying to get those difficult routines and, um, you know, there's still a few years to go for next Olympics and next World Championships, so I think we are definitely in the right direction. Moving forward just quickly to those World Championships, that is your goal, so you want to be a part of that team, what are you expecting to happen over the summer? Are you going to up your difficulty as well? Of course, yeah. So my chance to make that team is basically um, being able to perform those harder balls and being able to um, also you know, um, up my start value on floor and just have those two solid uh, events that with a very hard, high start value, um, but vault being the main focus. If I can get my vaults uh, to that world class level, which is so close, but it's very difficult at the same time. Uh, so I'm going to be training very hard this summer to try and get that, and hopefully, um, you know, the best will come out of it.